This is the brand new 25th anniversary Golden Pikachu box. Inside, you'll find some of the rarest items from the 25th anniversary that are exclusive to this item. Since the box just released last week, I had to have an express shipped here straight from Japan. <sighs> Yeah, but I kind of screwed up, and I spent $750 for it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have spent that much on this. Yeah, so don't get me wrong. I'm really excited to be opening this box up with you guys here, but... The fact of the matter is, I got really excited for the release of this. I put a pre-order in for this box around two months ago, back in October, when the prices were like $700 plus for this thing. But then they announced that they were going to be printing a ton of these things and trying to fill demand out, so the prices just went down to around $250 for this. Now, before I open this up, there is one other thing that I want to let you guys know. The other reason that I'm really excited to open this is because I'm going to be giving this all away to you guys here in the Poke Cave. So there's going to be three winners for this giveaway. If you would like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is make sure you smash the like button on the video. Then just turn on all notifications for the channel by clicking that bell icon. But make sure you subscribe because you have to be subscribed to be able to do that. And then finally, most important of all, leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite moment from 2021 was in the Pokemon TCG hobby. So whether that moment was on on this channel in your own personal collecting life or maybe on another channel that you guys watch let me know what it is all right here we go i'm excited to see what exactly is in this box you guys may have seen a different version of this they did have the chinese version of this drop actually probably like a month or two ago but the japanese version which is this one just literally released um, as of the recording, this actually released only a few days ago, so they literally just like overnighted it here from Japan, which is pretty crazy. All right, let's crack this sucker up, and oh my gold, look at this. All right, quick little adjustment, but let's start pulling stuff out of here. This thing looks insane. What is this? Pokemon card game. You got all the energies on the top. This thing looks like it's just straight up quality. Let's crack into this and see exactly what we have here. To oh man, look. That feels good. Wow, that is quality. So you can put all your little extra accessories in this thing. This is like high quality. Like I can see people put like jewelry in this thing. I'm about to put some high-end Pokemon cards in here though. Wow, okay. Man, look at this deck box we have here. This is making the English version look like the bargain sort of version of this thing. This is really nice. Wow. The quality on this thing is unreal. Are you kidding me? Dude, talk about somewhere to put your Pokemon cards. This is nice. Look at, like, the stitching on this thing. And I know you guys can't feel it, like, what it actually feels like. But I can tell you it feels like quality. Right? There's so much more stuff in here. I don't even know where to... Okay, let me just grab this. Hold on. I know you guys can't see it all, but there's a lot more. So we have... Um... Oh, here we go. Here we... Ooh, it's in a deck? Okay. Nice. You got the Japanese back there. But there you have the golden Pokeball with that 25th anniversary sort of like logo on there. Do you guys like this logo better or do you like the English version? All right, so we're gonna put this down. We'll go through that in a second, but we also do have this gorgeous, oh my God, this Pikachu gold card. Dude, there's like so many different layers to this card. The Pikachu has like its own texture. The actual background has a different texture and then like the borders have this other unique texture. That thing pops. This is like the goat of texture cards. I mean, this thing, when Pokemon have, if they can do it where they have all different textures on the same card, that actually makes it look even cooler. And then the Pikachu is sort of like outlined without any texture around it. Dude, that is a card. Ooh, so we got these really nice metal coins here. Yeah, these are pretty, pretty cool. And then this Pokemon card game 25th anniversary. This one's not metal, it's definitely, plastic but uh that's really cool there for the 25th anniversary there's still a ton more stuff in here we got something else over here look at these dice oh my god these are these are so high quality look at this thing this is crazy seriously this whole thing the quality is crazy. like i thought the the english version was really really good this is on like another planet of quality yo look at the sleeves oh man this is too nice yeah i'm definitely gonna have to buy myself one of these um for myself because now i think they're going for around 250 dollars i spent like seven seven hundred seven hundred fifty dollars on this thing uh definitely way way overpaid but um i put my pre-order in trying to get one and like hey you know what this stuff's all going out to you guys anyway th th these are nice though dude we got some more epic stuff to store things in 
Oh my god, look at this thing. This is there's so much good stuff. Look at this. Look at this. No, like if somebody actually rolled up to battle you with this, there's there's literally no shot. Like you might as well just forfeit. <laughs> That's crazy. There's still a bunch more stuff in there, but I want to crack this open and I want to use those sleeves and also see what other cards are in here. So Let's get this plastic off really nicely. We got our Pokeball. And then let's try out one of these sleeves. Ooh, this makes me want to use these sleeves that come with this thing. Because look, you can see the card really nicely. This is like one of the main reasons I never use the sleeves that come with Elite Trainer boxes and stuff. Because it's usually real foggy. This, this is nice. Whoa, look at these Pikachus though. The quality on this thing and the color on this looks so cool. Yep, now's my excuse to use these new sleeves. Wow, beautiful. That is such a cool Pikachu with the 25th logo on the bottom there. We got three of these. Oh, the Chakachu! What? With the 25th anniversary logo? Pikachu VMAX. Dang. We're getting so much use out of our new sleeves. That looks good. Ooh, okay. Then we have like some reverse Pikachus here. Let's see how many we get. Ooh, should be four. Yeah. Yup. Wow, okay. And the Raichu. Very nice. Wow, look at the artwork on these. Then we got our potion. Everything has a little shine to it, guys. This is this is high quality. I can't believe I'm just stacking up reverse cards right now. But I'm definitely going to sleep all of them up after the video for sure. It's just going to probably take me like 15 minutes to do that. So I can't do it on video. But look, here we go. Wow. God, everything, everything in here just looks nice. Guys, let me know if you're planning on picking up one of these. I know I definitely am. Okay, here we go. We got our energies, lightning energy. Here we go. There we go. Yep, that's what we need it right here. We got to power up our Pikachu and our Raichu. Let's see. Is this the rest of these? Yep. Wow. All hollow. All hollow. Oh, there's a whole bunch of packs. And actually, I think that's a mat. Let's check that out. Oh, my God. This is a 25th anniversary play mat. Th this, I can't, I can't explain what the feeling is on this part of the mat, but it's almost like when you have a shirt that has like a design on it, it has like that same sort of like feeling to it. But this part's really soft. I really know why it's called the gold box now. It's seriously, everything is just gold, everything. But there's one more thing in here. We actually do have five of the 25th anniversary promo packs. And these are the best packs to get, in my opinion. That's actually crazy. So we have like $75 worth of these promo packs. If you guys don't know what the difference is, basically a booster box of the actual 25th anniversary set is only like $60 for the entire box. The reason is they put all the classic collection cards, like I'm talking about the Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, all those really cool cards that everybody wants to pull in these single card promo packs. So that's why these are so expensive. But the fact that they put them in this golden box is insane. So the actual booster boxes for the 25th set in Japanese the, went down like a ton in price because people didn't really realize they were going to put the big, big hitter cards in these single card packs. All right, I've never opened up one of these before, so let's see what we get out of our first pack, if I can get it open. Uh, so this is really awkward to try to open these up without scissors. And okay, we do have a more of a common one, but we do have a very, very nice card to start off here. These actually are sick. I mean, you got the borders have that really nice hollow effect. The 25th logo, very nice card. All right, let's see if I can open up another one of these without messing up. Uh-oh, what is that? It's red. It's red. Hold on. Oh, my God. Don't even tell me second pack. Don't even tell me second pack. What else could it be? What else is red? Nothing else is red. Nothing else is red. Nothing else is red. Ah, uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, these are so weird to open up. I should have brought scissors. No, I don't have any scissors. Be careful. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, let's go, baby! Charizard out of the second pack! Out of only five of them as well! Are you kidding me right now? Worthy of the golden sleeve! Oh my god, let's go! That is insane! How do we just do that out of only the second one? Oh my god, because this is really hard to pull this card in the English version. I mean, you guys saw me I opened up hundreds and hundreds of packs, and we were barely pulling the Charizard. Dude, do you like this one more or the English version? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is literally getting given away all this stuff, so make sure you guys enter the giveaway for this. This thing is so clean as well. Oh my god, what? <sighs> wow. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what else we get. Okay, Razor is definitely not sharp enough, so I, I went and got scissors just for these last three packs. That makes it way easier. Okay, 
Moment of truth. Ooh, the Garchomp. Very nice card to pull as well. All right, second to last booster pack. Just one single card. All right. I think we do it this way. It'll be backwards. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Card number four, maybe Blastoise. Ooh, the Claydol. Okay, one of the easier cards to pull. I don't know, actually, if the pull rates are going to be tough how they are with like the English version, how some of them are definitely tougher to pull, like the Charizard and other cards. Um, but we'll have to see, I guess. Maybe this last pack will uh, be a big hitter. All right, final pack, single card. What is it going to be? All right, here we go. Let's see if we get one more big hitter. Oh my God! What, dude, are you kidding me? Oh my God, that's, that's unreal. That is unreal. Only in the freaking Poke Cave. Get this thing in his sleeve. Oh my God. Two Charizards now entered for this giveaway. I'm still actually in shock. That was the best box. I, I don't even care, actually. I'm happy that I spent the 750 on this box. I really am. That is nuts. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click one of these up here. Hit that subscribe button, and I am out of here. Peace.